Namatu Ratana Tayasa. May I pay homage to Triple Gem, the Buddha, Dhamma, and the Sangha. My respect goes to my parents and my teachers. Hello. Good evening. So today is Tuesday, the 23rd. June 2020 and this is Achan Sujan from Warapunya Meditation Centre Aberdeen Scotland as usual I'm here with you tonight and thank you everyone for watching this live broadcast uh, talks on uh, Buddhism and experiences so thank you everyone for joining almost every night and all the comments and the feedbacks thank you uh, so today again I thought I would go and sit on the grass somehow I am uh, feeling that there is a possible of a rains coming so I thought I better come this little shed and this shed also was blown away in early this month uh, early this year and we have repaired it and placed it uh, quite a strong now so I'm sitting on this small pavilion and now you can see the Buddha as a, a background as well so again I'm here with you uh, just to continue from the previous continuous talk on uh, the five hindrances that I've been talking and today is the fourth day on this topic and uh, the hindrances that hinder us from doing good things uh, hinder us from uh, doing or practicing uh, meditation or even uh, doing good things and uh, what are these hindrances that hinder our uh, good uh, practices and I have co already covered uh, the, the sensual pleasure the first hindrances which is the main you know, reason of having the sensual pleasure is uh, greed and the second is Vyapada uh, or the ill will which is uh, again uh, purely based on uh, the ill will uh, ill will or um, hatred and anger and this is again I mentioned that no one can make us angry without our permission so if we do not take anyone's words or anyone's action then we will not be offended and we will not be in a feeling of anger uh, we will be strong as a stone on the top of the mountain which is unshaken by the wind or the heavy rains and that sort of a mental state we have to develop uh, and uh, also in a practice sometimes uh, not achieving what we want also causes a um, a trouble uh, and uh, ill will begins that towards own self of not able to do what I should be doing uh, kind of like self hatred may generate too and in that case we need to see how important this life and how you know how opportunity how much that we are opportune uh, got opportunity to be born as a human and using this life skillfully and that is based on purely the hatred uh, mental state and the third uh, yesterday I spoke on so-called sloth and torpor and that's basically on the basis of ignorance and dullness of our mind and uh, despite you know, despite of dullness and ignorance of our mind and yet we can overcome by seeing and understanding the value of our own self and the value of the practice uh, and that's how we will be able to overcome and but in in a in, a, in case of the a physical sloth uh, or torpor then uh, we basically need to go through the process and if it's really needed so called if you're sleepy just sleep and uh, that's the way to overcome uh, and that's how we should uh, practice that so today is uh, the uh, third uh, the four, fourth hindrance that is known as a uh, tina midda 
So Uddacha Kukucha. So today's the topic is Uddacha Kukucha, which means the restlessness and worry. My first question would be, you know, who hasn't got restless mind and who is not worried? I think every one of us are restless and every one of us feel worried too. Yeah? And here, Udacha Kukucha, Udacha means restless, Kukucha means worry or remorse. Yeah, or mental distress, or depression, uh, like that. And restlessness is that basically the reason behind the restlessness is not seeing the uh, value or the joy on the things that we are doing. Let's say you got a job. Once you got into the office and you feel very unwelcoming and you know, are very you know, feeling uncomfortable, like this time of the year, after you have been working from the home and now you have to go to the office, and every environment has changed, the situation has changed, and you do not feel comfortable, and with that you will be thinking about this is not right, that is not right, wish he is here, wish he is there. And uh, wish that is in this way, wish that is in that way, in that way. So we go on thinking uh, one after another rather than having any contentment or living in the present moment. What's happening, you know, being aware of the moment here and now causes this restlessness. The satisfaction is the cause of the restlessness. And that's why the antidote for this restlessness is simply in daily life is to find the contentment that we have. Yeah. Content with what we have now. Content with what uh, is available uh, for now to us rather than finding you know, beyond that. And that's why there is a, a famous saying that it is not that you have wearing you are wearing a branded clothes you are a special the special should be coming from your heart and the minds if you are content with what you have uh, and that will bring some more contentment and restlessness will just go away and this restlessness is simply is the uh, so there is a it says a mental agitation and distraction and lack of excitement okay? so the mental distress or mental agitation is basically arises on the base uh, that I am not happy with what I am doing now or I am not happy with where I am now okay? and with that you know, we will not be able to focus on the tasks that we are doing and with that not able to focus on the tasks that we are doing and that basically you know, we do not feel excitement we do not feel that I want to be here I want to be meditating or I want to be working here wish I could have other jobs you know like that so this will comes and as, as a result of that this restlessness will just wander around and uh, be there and causes a trouble and with that what comes is known as the kukucha or the worry or the remorse and kukucha is basically based on that the restlessness restless mind uh, and we will be worrying about all oh, a job that I'm doing or want to be in a good and you know, a job that I'm doing I haven't paid much attention to on it and you know, the result may not be good so that's why the basically the uh, the worry is simply a result of something that we have done wrong and we repent on uh, and basically that's a negative and uh, any wrongdoings you know, uh, once we have done we have a worry about oh wish 
I shouldn't have done that and you know, a repenting nature and that causes this worry exaggerate more you know and it's like a, a nutritious uh, uh, for the more restless mind and more worries and the second uh, uh, the reason behind we get worried is basically because we haven't done what is good or which should have done in the past and worry about the results in the future right so wish if I have done if I had done that I would not be in this position and that is the worry uh, if I had done this I would be happy now uh, like that and if I'm doing what I'm doing now if I am doing it correctly I will not be unhappy in the future so these sort of uh, you know, uh, rest, uh, the worries simply on the basis of the restless mind of not being content or not being satisfied or not be able to be in the moment here and now and that is the result behind uh, why we hinder you know to get the progress in our you know day-to-day -day life or even in a practice of a meditation and there is another uh, uh, aspect of it as well uh, that sometimes when you're working so hard uh, working hard towards the success or towards to get the praise or the to get the you know grade or upgrading or promotion and despite of doing so and you realize that you haven't received it then that again causes a restless mind too suppose you are working so hard to get the promotion uh, and you are so worried that uh, now despite of doing this you are not going to be promoted and then this restlessness will come and causes a lot of trouble yeah? and that's same with the uh, practice of a meditation too that when when we are practicing when we have a sorry uh, this pollen when we have this no when we have this excessive uh, striving or desiring to be ex uh, desiring to be successful causes a restless mind too in a practice in particular that's why in a practice of a meditation sometimes people want to uh, be success instantly immediately after one or two uh, meditation sessions they want to be enlightened and when they are not able to pay attention to even one object for maybe a few moments then that causes a restless mind so that's why the practice of a meditation basically checking your motivation checking your intention and be content and satisfied with the moment that you have with the moment that you are in so that's why it's called a relaxation be yourself at the moment here and now aware of the moment here and now you know, feel the body presence here and now so basically bringing your mind into the present moment rather than having any thoughts of discomfort and I wish that I could have uh, piles of cushions so I I can meditate more comfortably my body will be more comfortable wish I can lean back or wish I can you know, just uh, lie down rather than sitting and that sort of a different thoughts may come simply to feel yourself and are hoping to be satisfied hoping to be comfortable and with this the thoughts will come and come and come and come and that's how we become a very restless so when we come to meditation that's why first and first what we have to do is to accept the environment that you are in situation that you are in and a cushion that is available and just content and work with that and then knowing whatever is happening as they are as they occur as that uh, that is taking place 
rather than oh i want to uh, get deeper meditation you know, deep into meditation i want to experience jhanas or i want to attain uh, the spiritual powers and so and so whenever you have those uh, thoughts in your mind and you began your meditation with these aims and objectives in your mind then you have failed yourself from the beginning yes you have to have those desires and yet we cannot uh, have those desires as so high that we are unable to observe you in the present moment here and now because this body always presents this body always uh, always and always in the present moment and whenever this body feels tired it just sleeps or rests whenever you are holding whenever this body is holding something and when it feels tired it will just put it down and body knows how to relax body knows how to find a comfortable uh, position or how body knows how to be comfortable the whereas the mind you know it's very difficult to measure yeah it's very difficult to measure and yet it hasn't got so called form and this doesn't stay and whenever something happens the more the trouble the mind wants to take on when this is particularly negative things the mind always want to hold on cling on and is pondering on thinking on you know this and that wish this is this wish that is that like that body doesn't do like that whenever something is wastes whenever something is not useful anymore to the body it will just take it out it will not keep it in the body at all like going to the toilets like a sweatings even the hair nails these are all wastes in our body body doesn't want it will just take it out and feel relax and healthy whereas mind whenever something negative happens we do not want it yet we spend 90% or maybe 99% of time thinking of it holding on to it grasping on it you know and patting on it and as a result our mind become so restless and also we become so worried that what if a big if so capital e uh, capital i will begin there and as a result of that we cannot have so called the calmness of the mind uh, we cannot have the peaceful mind okay and we cannot have this uh, uh, so called the uh, tranquility tranquility of the mind so the calmness tranquility serenity concentration we will not be able to achieve as long as our mind is in a restless position restless moment yeah and these restless moments happens sometimes based on what we talk and uh, and how we engage with the environment or situation particularly if we are talking in a negative or a harsh words or and on to the arguments and then that is very prone to uh, become a restlessness in uh, meditation and that also can be a result of unable to sleep and that is the reason why you know uh, according to the buddhism now we have to practice at least of the five precepts so then our physical and verbal action will be pure which will not be a you know, disturbing uh, or dis dis distract mind to think or something else but it will be in a way become a more you know, mindful and able to control okay it's able to control so 
And once we have fully realized and let it ease and content of the situation and we do not speak any violations or any harsh words, what happens is it's easy to concentrate. Yeah, it's easy to concentrate on the object that we are given or we, we have used and what happens is as we and uh, this is the th another one uh, the this restlessness begins and in a deeper level is that what happens is we will be able to calm our mind and tranquil our mind and we will achieve the serenity and peace and further on, what happens is we will see so-called nimittas, in particularly the lights, so-called obhasa or illuminations. So basically we see the lights and in that again, we shouldn't be attached to it. We should watch it. Okay, now I have achieved it. I have achieved it. Okay, that is. Just let it go. If we do not let it go, then we will be pondering on, oh, what is this? What happened? And what's going to be? Oh, I supposed to be meditating and watching the breath and what's why this is happening like that. Like yesterday, I was uh, also uh, guiding, you know, uh, helping one of the meditators who attained this light. And after he attained this light, he was experiencing this you know a uh, breath very become hard very hard and gradually become so powerful so energetic uh, and he was worried that where is this nimitta or this obhasa or the light gone uh, like that so it's basically once you have attained it you're supposed to let it be and let it go and just carry on as they are and with this uh, you will be able to uh, go on to develop uh, and here the Buddha gave uh, the the restlessness and worry uh, as a simile is like a water a bowl of water is steered by the wind enable us to see through or enable us to reflect our own face when we look at the our face on a bowl and restlessness and worry is like that it's not it doesn't allow us to see the reality of our mind the reality of the nature and the present moment we simply do not see clearly what's going there more than that if that steers the wind become a very strong then that steers the water can damage uh, surroundings so it does when our mind is restless and it's worried it can affect to the surrounding people and which you can you know experience by yourself whenever your mind is so agitated whenever your mind is restless you know, the way you walk the way you talk that affects to the surrounding people and the people also will feel the agitation that you are experiencing the restlessness that you are experiencing even the worries and as a result they are also affected too so restlessness and the worry is like a boss you know, who is controlling us to do this and do that and we will not be able to control ourselves rather we are we are acting on the uh, uh, on in the influence of this uh, restless mind uh, and this worries so that's why the ways to uh, overcome this first we have to understand that whenever we have this restless and worries take control of our mind we become unfit and we will not be able to see what is beneficial for us and what is not beneficial for us and this restless mind can happen even the slightest things suppose uh, uh, if you are a partner or a husband or a wife uh, and uh, your wife is talking on a phone you know, in different times or husband is texting while you are having a, a, a meal then immediately oh who who he's talking or who she's talking and that carries on a lot 
and with that restless mind and also creates the worries and with that our mind become a you know a inability to work properly and with that causes a trouble okay that causes a trouble and we will not see uh, the the benefit of it you know uh, sometimes probably a, a reason of it you know good reason to talk good reason to message or good reason to you know, communicate and yet because of that and you know, not seeing the benefit of it and uh, the first thing uh, to overcome this restlessness and worry is to know that what you are here and now is such a precious and be satisfied and content with what you are particularly if you are in a meditation state uh, med doing a meditation then be happy with the situation that you are in be content with the objects that you are doing and forget about any remorse that you have done do not repent on the things that you have done and do not worry about uh, the results that is coming to be you know? remorse or the repent you can check around the world or surrounding and around yourself who hasn't done anything wrong or i would say who hasn't got the history of a wrongdoing we all have that and we have learned from it and those histories has made us strong and grow stronger so that's why do not worry about it but just be mindful of the present moment awareness here and now so that is the first stage and the second stage when you are striving too much that also cause restless and worries so in that case do not to, do not put too much energy just ease it a little bit and with that you will get more concentration and as you got the concentration this restlessness and worry will just suppressed in the first stage uh, and then the another way of uh, getting rid of this restless mind or restless and worry is simply you know that you have this restless and worry in your mind so so called recognizing it you know and rather than involving it simply you know knowing that it you know responding it and let it be so called the mind uh, the mind is mind has the restless or uh, restless and worry know that and with that knowing we are simply uprooting from the root cause of it and that's how we will be able to uproot from its roots when we have taken from its roots then that is the moment we are free and that's why it is also known as one of the feathers that once we have overcome it then we become enlightened in a third level of enlightenment will be achieved after we have overcome this udhacca kukucha or restless mind restless and worry until then we have to face it but the way we're facing it you know in different ways if we're just looking for the calmness of the mind then just concentrate on the object that you are given and then if you want to you know, uh, develop the wisdom then simply know that this is there and rather than engaging simply you know recognizing it and let it be and finally we will be able to uproot it completely so i offer this as tonight's reflection and talk on the um yeah, the fourth hindrances the restless and worry i hope it helps you to uh, develop in this practice and as well as able to you know use in your daily life so with this may you be happy and peaceful and in a few minutes time we will have a chanting and guided meditation you're most welcome to join with us otherwise we'll see you tomorrow at half past six for the talk again until then thank you very much for listening and may you be blessed thank you see you shortly bye, -bye.